All right, what is a door check and why do you need it? Because if you don't have a door check, this is what's gonna happen. Your door's gonna open up too far and then it's gonna give you a dent that looks like that. My name is David Welch. I'm here at Brothers Tech Center every single week showing you how to keep your truck back on the road. Today, I'm here to show you how to replace your door check in your 1960 to 1966 Chevy or GMC truck. Stay tuned. All right, before I install this, I wanna show you how it works and why it fails. First thing is this little pin right here. These will fall out a lot of times. You'll notice in the back right here, this is just being held on by a cotter pin. That gets old, tired, falls out. This little rubber piece right here, that just gets destroyed over the years and the just door opens up too much. So that is why it fails. Now we're gonna go ahead and replace it. All right, your door handles, they just go in with a screw that is in the bottom of them. So you're just gonna take those and unscrew them and then this will go ahead and pull off. That's what that looks like right there. When you're doing these right here, take off all your lower ones first, okay? Because a lot of times these are gonna be rusted up and they're gonna give you trouble. Also, loosen all of them up first. If you get one that is gonna give you a real problem and it's all rusted in there, you can go ahead and fight with it when the door panel is still attached. So now that we've got this off nice and neat-like, we're gonna take all of our little screws and everything we're gonna bag it and tag it so we don't lose anything now there's a nice little hole right here I can just reach right in and grab the remainder of the old door check and unscrew this a lot of times this will be rusted up you can shoot some oil through the hole there let it sit for a while so you can get these guys off but luckily this was not too bad for us and you can see that's all that's left when that's what you should have. Now when you're installing this, notice the cotter pin here. Here's the top and there's the bottom. We want to have it with the top at the top. Slide this right in. Just go ahead and screw it right back on. So just give me a second with this and then I'll show you a couple of more tricks I got. All right, so this, real, this little pin right here, these get old and tired. A lot of times guys will reuse these, but really what you ought to do, what we recommend, is to put a new one in there so you don't have to worry about it. The little trick that we've got for these right here is that you'll need to flare out both ends. So what we're gonna do is just put a BB right up on top and right on bottom, after we install it, of course. And then we'll use some channel locks or vice grips to go ahead and clamp down on that, and that'll flare out the end on the top and the bottom and then we don't have to worry about this falling out again so what we're going to do is you're going to need to line up all of your holes right here and then get the pin started in there and then get your bb's on and flare out the end so give me just a minute here to play with this I'll show you what it looks like when i'm all done All right, so your bottom BB here, that's gonna be difficult to keep on there. You might wanna put a piece of tape on or something. Maybe you can uh, get away just doing it right like that though. So we've got those there. Now I'm gonna squeeze down nice and hard. Mm. Okay. And then I've got that flared out nice, and now it won't fall through on me. 
So I'll get a little bit of grease. We'll put it on any of our points here, here, and of course on the inside here. So you can see it's pretty nice and easy to do. It's not really going to take you a lot of time. You don't need any special tools or education. And what it's going to do is save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars on not having to do a repair on your door when your door check works. You make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram. You know the jazz. Ring bells, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Because next week I'm going to be here again. And I'm going to be here showing you how to get your truck back on the road. You stay tuned, you hear?